Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wayne World. Since I'm going back with another video, I'm Strange Wayne. Today I have a film review for the newest iteration of Willy Wonka with the 2023 film Wonka. Before we get into that, please hit that thanks button down below. Donate some of that Bob and Nero so I can buy Willy Wonka candy. And it also helps out the YouTube channel. It also helps out if you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. It'll be great if you do. And if you do either of those two things, then I appreciate that. But let's get down to brass tacks. I gave Wonka a 7.6 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because the 2023 Wonka film that is directed by Paul King, who got famous for the Paddington films and stars Timothy Chalamet, is. I mean, it's all right. Like. I think the film is exactly what it needs to be. It was played very safe. I think Paul King, because of the patterning films, it makes sense that you would want him to be the director of this film. I don't, the whimsicalness of it was my favorite part. It wasn't too over the top. It was more like the 70s, but still its own with that modern fresh take, that vintage feel. It wasn't over the top crazy like Tim Burton's, which I kind of have a soft spot for, but the 70s one is, that is the best one. Clearly, <laughs> no debating. The script was just not, the script was just safe. It was a script that came off very predictable. It felt like it, well, I've seen it before. It felt unoriginal. It didn't feel, it didn't move me. It didn't give me any emotion. It kept me entertained, but maybe I would have liked it more if it wasn't a musical. <laughs> Mike, maybe. Because it is a musical. It has five to ten songs in it, I would say roughly, maybe more. And when it comes to musicals... Not my cup of tea! There is nothing blatantly wrong with Wonka. The performances are exactly what they need to be. The film just feels... Like I've seen it before, it feels overly safe, which makes it predictable, which doesn't have much investment for me as an audience member. And that may also be because every time there's a musical number, I'm just a little eye roll there because this is not something I want to listen to on soundtrack or repeat or a song I'm going to get stuck in my head. So for me, I think this film just comes down to it wasn't what I wanted because I don't like musicals too much and with his background and what he directs I guess my expectations was a smidge higher but it's a fine movie there's nothing wrong with it if you like musicals check it out if you're not a film snob like me check it out and you will probably like it more than I did but if you don't that's fine too, but tell me that in the comment section below. What's your thoughts and opinions on Wonka? Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video. And then... Subscribe.